Is being able to actively dry your filament in your Bamboo AMS the biggest news for 3D printing we've had in a long time? Yes. What else is big news in 3D printing? Let's find out. Oh, you're also wondering if there's any sales right now on 3D printers and filament? That's so crazy because I'm going to tell you about all of those things in this video right here, right now. Today is going to be the first episode in a monthly series where I check out all of the biggest news in 3D printing and bring you only the best headlines. Not only that, I also check out all of the sales happening online right now and I bring you only the best sales for 3D printing and filament so you don't miss out on anything. This was totally an original idea, I never got influenced by anybody to do this. If this sounds like a good idea and something that you would watch every month, let me know in the comments. This is new so I need to know how you feel about it to see if I should keep making these videos. And if you feel good about them, then maybe subscribe, you don't want to miss next month's episode if there is one, right? The structure of this video is going to be all of the sales and the biggest discounts first. Next, we're going to check out all of the biggest headlines in 3D printing from how printers are being used around the world to new innovations with 3D printing with new printers, new upgrades, new filament types, all that kind of good stuff. And then we're going to check out one of the biggest upgrades that 3D printing has seen in a long time, the active dryer for your AMS. After that, all that's left is you commenting on this video, telling me if you like it or not, and then subscribing while I say that you should subscribe and check out my future videos and have a great rest of your day. But we have so much to talk about before we get to that point, let's just start right now. The first and definitely the biggest sale happening by far right now in 3D printing is the Bamboo Anniversary Sale. If you've been thinking about getting a bamboo printer or looking to get more bamboo printers, this is the time by far. This is the cheapest we've seen printers since the last bamboo anniversary sale an entire year ago. This sale is happening now through July 15th with deals kind of changing out whenever they want. So check back every day because there is something different on sale every single day. And if you see something you like, just jump on it because I'm kind of mad. I already missed out on the support for the PLA PETG because I added it to my cart one day thinking I'd be able to buy it the next day. Guess what? Back to full price. Don't make that mistake. Just buy it if you see something. By far the best deal that I have to tell you about is the P1P being 43% off. That's like only 7% away from 50% off, which is half. That makes this printer only $399, which is just insane. And I know what you're thinking, it's not the P1S, it doesn't have the enclosure, what's the point? Guess what? You can buy the enclosure separately down the road if you really need it. But for most of us that are just printing in PLA and PETG and other filaments that don't need that enclosed space, this is by far the best deal you're ever going to find on a Bamboo Core XY machine. Unless of course you're talking used and you go on Facebook Marketplace and buy something from there, then you might find one cheaper, but if you want new straight from Bamboo themselves, this is it. Now what else do you need when you buy a new 3D printer? Hot ends. Guess what? They're also on sale. All of them are around 30% off and you can buy them in bulk and get more of a discount. You know what you need even more than hot ends with a new 3D printer? Filament! Bamboo filament is buy four and get 20% off of all four of those rolls of filament. If you already have some empty spools and you just need refills, guess what? Buy four refills, get one entirely free. Which is basically like saying buy four, get 25% off if you really do that math, I think. Also, pretty much every single maker kit is discounted pretty heavily. So if you've been looking at that clock kit, that lantern kit, or any of the other hundreds of kits that Bamboo has out these days, which I won't even lie to you, I haven't looked at in quite a while. That's why I said clock and lantern lantern. I know those are two really old kits, but those are just the two that I know the most about because they are the most common, I feel like. But there's plenty of new ones out there that are quite advanced, actually. That's it for the bamboo sale. Again, that is from now through July 15th, so go check it out. You have nothing to lose by just looking, right? Making a video like this really makes me wish I was a scripted video kind of guy. I might have to look into that. Next up is the Amazon Prime Day sale. I'm sure you've heard of Amazon Prime Day. This year they got some really good deals on printers specifically. This deal is really quick, however, being only July 8th through July 11th. I'm sorry if you missed out on this one. What you missed out on exactly is up to 30% off of all Elgu 3D printers. And I'm not just talking FDM printers, I'm talking resin printers as well. Speaking of resin printers, the Elgu Saturn IV is on sale for $449. That's a 24% discount, which is pretty good. Any cubic printers are also on sale. You can pick up the Cobra S1 combo for $569. That's a standard size printer, fully enclosed, Core XY, with a multi-material system for that price. Might be worth getting an Amazon Prime membership for, just saying. 
There are also filaments on sale here and there, so go check out your favorite brand of filament on Amazon. There might just be a good discount on it. If you've been looking at getting a camera to monitor your 3D printing farm or singular 3D printer, there are a ton of indoor cameras that would be great for this on sale as well. I'm going to keep this one quick because it's such a short sale, so those are all the highlights for the Amazon Prime Day sale. You're not going to believe this, there is another anniversary this month, and it comes with a sale too. The Sunlu 12th anniversary sale is happening now through July 31st, so you got plenty of time to check out these cool products. Just like the Bamboo sale, these deals change weekly, daily, randomly, all the time, so just go check it out, see what's on sale currently, if there's nothing you like. Maybe check back the next day because there could be something that you like on sale. What kind of sale are we talking about here? $9.99 rolls of filament. Entire full kilogram rolls of filament for less than $10. You're never gonna see a deal like this again, I'm telling you. Everything filament wise is on sale. PETG, ABS, ASA, even the engineering filaments, the carbon fiber filaments, everything's got a discount. Even if you're a resin kind of person, guess what? That's half off as well. But the biggest news with Sunlu by far is the AMS heater which gets released on July 10th of this year. That's the day this video comes out, so if you're watching this, it's out. Alright, I think I've saved you enough money at this point. Let's talk about the biggest news in 3D printing that happened in the past month. Have you noticed I really like those monthly type videos? I don't know why, they're just fun to make and it's cool to see what happens in the previous month for 3D printing. I want to start out by saying that I can't personally guarantee the truth or legitness of any of these articles. That's up to you to go check out my sources in the description down below and do your own research and come to your own conclusions. I'm just here to show you the very brief headlines and bullet points of some cool things with 3D printing. I'm basically just the messenger for these articles and you know what they say about the messenger, right? Don't take it out on me. The first big breakthrough in 3D printing over the past 30 days is 3D printing is now being used as a treatment for type 1 diabetes. No, we're not talking about your bamboo 3D printers anymore. This is some serious high-tech medical grade 3D printing which I think is just amazing that that exists. In a very quick explanation, scientists and doctors are now able to 3D print a really small device that can be implanted under your skin that allows people with type 1 diabetes to start producing their own insulin. This is huge even if 3D printing wasn't involved, but the fact that 3D printing was involved in this just makes it so much better for everybody. This is a huge win for 3D printing and shows that 3D printing is not just for toys and trinkets and little multicolored articulating dragons. Like I said, the full article is linked down below, so go check it out if you want to read more about this amazing feat in 3D printing history. You're not going to believe this next one. Your 3D printer has fingers. I'm just kidding, your 3D printer does not have fingers, but it does leave fingerprints on everything that it prints out. Researchers at the University of Illinois have discovered that your 3D printer leaves a unique fingerprint on everything that it prints out. Essentially meaning you can trace back a 3D printed piece to where it came from, how it was made, and when it was made. This stuff is all so far above my head, I don't even know where to start with it. I do know that AI is involved, however, because AI is always involved with stuff like this. So if you've been printing out something that maybe you shouldn't be printing out, this might be your wake up call to stop because it could possibly be traced back to you now. It's unclear the specifics of how specific they can get with this tracking. I don't know if they're going to be able to say, hey, this 3D printed piece was printed on a bamboo X1C in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I don't think it's that specific just yet, but I'm sure it's coming. Now that I've scared you a little bit, I'm going to pivot and get you excited for the future of 3D printing with a really promising new Kickstarter 3D printer. Oh, I just got you. If you got scared from that last news article, then you are printing something you should not be printing. Anyways, this is the Praxitron 3D printer which is currently looking to be funded on Kickstarter. What makes this printer so special? Dual extrusion. Two nozzles, two tool heads, two different filament types at once. I don't know why I did that, it's kind of weird. There's also multiple build plate sizes, so you can get your standard printer size like your 256 by 256 or they sell an XL version which is bigger. That's what XL means. This printer is going to require zero assembly, really taken after that bamboo style of just out the box ready to print. And best of all, early bird pricing is currently only $899. Let me say that again, $899. That is less than $1,000 for a dual extrusion, dual print head, 3D printer, out of the box, ready to go. No assembly required, no sourcing your own materials, no taking weeks of time to build a multi-tool head printer for under $1,000.
You know what else is cool and groundbreaking and out right now as of today? The Sunlu Active AMS Dryer. Why do I keep talking about this? Because it really is revolutionary for the Bamboo AMS. I don't think I need to explain to you why your filament needs to be dried. But I'm gonna say a little something because I have to, right? If you get any sort of errors about your filament or your filament breaks a lot in the tubes or you're just not getting that print quality that you want, you probably need to dry your filament. I've said it time and time again, drying your filament will always produce the best prints possible and give you the least amount of errors and the least amount of trouble with your 3D printer. But it's always been a tricky thing with bamboo printers because if you want to do multicolor prints or you just wanna have multiple different filaments loaded in your AMS, which is what most people do so they're always ready, you can't dry your filament. Obviously you can put the little desiccant beads in the AMS, but that's not actively drying it. Sunlu is coming out with a not revolutionary idea because it has been done before, but a revolutionary idea for bamboo AMS in general that lets you actively dry this filament while it's in the AMS. It's like a win-win. You can do your multicolor prints and dry at the same time. Coincidentally, I just have one right here that we're gonna check out and see how it works and see what the assembly is like. Let's get this thing out of the box. What are we waiting for? All right, up top, we got some nice styrofoam keeping everything in place. We don't need that. Here is the main bulk of everything. Oh, that kind of had a bit of a hard landing. Let's check this thing out, why don't we? So obviously this is upside down and backwards. You see the actual heating element itself here on the inside and we're gonna get rid of some of this tape. Should I be reading the instructions to this before I start taking things apart and getting rid of tape? Yes. Am I going to? No. All right, tape guy needs a raise. This is kind of ridiculous. There we go. Now I already know what you're thinking. How in the world do you assemble this thing? I mean, it's already assembled. There's nothing that you have to assemble in the actual box itself, but you do have to attach the box to your AMS and that means you got to remove this lid right here. How do you do that? In standard bamboo fashion, pretty easily with some screws in here and some screws in here. So we're gonna remove those, take off the lid on our AMS, and then we have some replacement screws right here that we're gonna use instead when we throw this on there. Coincidentally, the Allen key that we received is just the perfect size for these screws. How did they know? Now that we have all those screws off, the lid for this thing should just pop on out like that. Now we can set that to the side because we no longer need it. So we got a new lid. Installing the new Sunlu dryer lid is just as easy as removing the old one. Slide it on into the spot, set it down, screw it in, and that's it. Remember, we are gonna be using our new screws for this one. You're never gonna believe this, but that Allen key works for the new screws as well. And don't get freaked out, there are two screws on one side and only one screw on the other. It freaked me out too, trust me, but it's fine. That's how it's supposed to be. And now that that's done, bam! Look at that. I mean, all that's left to do is plug this thing in. It's alive. Right off the bat, when we look at the front of the screen, we have a power button, down button, up button, and a set button. Only four buttons, really simple. Nothing to get confused about. On the screen, we have quite a bit of information. We have our time, which appears to be a countdown for the amount of time that this is gonna be drying the filament because you don't wanna dry all the time, right? You just wanna dry while you're printing. Up here, we have the humidity, which is at 46%, which is really not good for printing. And then we have our temperatures on either side. Now, how do you use this thing, you might be asking? It's pretty simple. Pressing set will take you through all the different things that you can change. You can see now that our degrees is flashing. Press that again, our temperature is flashing. Press that again, our time is flashing. Again, PLA is flashing. So you can easily just go through all these different settings. We got PETG, TPU, ABS, PA, PC, RH. I don't know what that one is, but it's there, that's nice. And then we're back to our PLA. One of the only downsides that I can find with a product like this is that you are drying for all four of your filament slots. But that's just the nature of the AMS. Of course you can't individually dry for each spool because they're not individually housed in the AMS. So you're just drying everything. Luckily, I usually only print with PLA or PETG, so I can easily just go in here, switch it to PETG, and we're good to go. 
While we're at it, let's switch the Celsius to Fahrenheit because I mean, who deals with Celsius, right? I'm just kidding. Obviously, I think the metric system is a way better system than what we use in America, but I'm in America, so we gotta use Fahrenheit. Now, I've only had this thing on for a couple of minutes and I know that you can't feel temperature through the screen yet. I'm sure that's coming, but the technology is just not there yet. So I'm just gonna have to tell you that when I lift this lid, it is hot in here, like seriously hot. It feels like I just walked outside in Arizona in July. It is hot in there. That's exactly what you want. That means it's drying your filament. That's perfect. You can see how quickly it took to get to its target value of 122 degrees Fahrenheit. It only took six minutes to get to that target temperature. I totally knew what that meant, by the way. I didn't have to look up what PV and SV meant. I, I just knew. But if for some reason you didn't know, PV is your current temperature, and SV is your target temperature. So if we switch this over to something that needs some more heat, like TPU, you can see our target goes up to 131. Also, can we appreciate that humidity? That was at 40% when we first threw this thing on. We're already down to 18% and it's been eight minutes that this thing has been on. Now let's say you don't like the preset temperatures that they have built in for the different types of filament. What can you do? You can just change the temperature to anything you want. Let's go over to our target temperature. We can increase this to anything we want. 140, why not? Let's do it. Click that set button. 134 to 140, that is gonna be done in no time. Same thing with our time. Let's say we're not printing for five hours, 51 minutes and 26 seconds. We can easily just change that to however long our print is by clicking that set button, scroll on over to the time and then moving that down. We got a one hour print, perfect. Now we're good to go. Our filament is gonna be drying for that entire one hour print. No more, no less. Because there is such a thing as over drying your filament or so I've been told. When you open that lid, you can see that nothing is interrupted with the way that the filament feeds or works its way through the AMS, so none of that is going to be affected. Also, while we're here, I feel like I should mention that you probably shouldn't put TPU through your AMS. There is TPU made for AMS that you could throw in here, but just in general terms, TPU is not meant to go through your AMS because it might mess it up. If we take a look at the inside of our filament dryer, you can see that we have two fans and two areas for that heat to come out. That's how it's able to heat up so quickly. I feel like this is also a good time to mention there are a couple of things on this very specific dryer that will not be there when it comes to the official release such as this clear plastic right here is going to be more of a smoked appearance in the final version so that way you don't have to see all of that messy electronics another thing that's going to be different in the final version that you would receive if you purchase this is this film that you see on the top and on the front and the size of the film and dryer that is not going to be there in the final version big improvement you're also going to get reinforced hinges, a display that prevents light leak, and an easier sliding door at the top, which I totally forgot to mention. This is a great way to vent your print, or if you really wanna lock in that heat, lock it down and don't vent that heat from getting out. It's up to you. Overall, this is an amazing product that has been needed for a long time for the Bamboo AMS, and it's finally here. I'm definitely gonna be purchasing another one of these for my other AMS for the P1S so that all of my filament is dried appropriately. This is by far one of the best upgrades that you can do for your AMS. In fact, it's probably the one upgrade that I might consider a necessity because non-dried out filament is just a hassle and a pain, and if you can avoid it altogether and get better prints, why would you not do it? That's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you for checking it out. I know this was a little bit of a wild ride considering it's the first episode in a new series. And I really do need you now more than ever to tell me in the comments if you like this video. I really liked making it because I got to learn about sales and the innovations of 3D printing. But I need to know if you really liked it and you liked the delivery of it or if there's things I need to change or if I should just call it quits on this idea altogether. Please let me know. You could also just let me know some random fact or pretty much anything you want in the comments because believe it or not, I read every single comment try me i'm serious you could also subscribe if you want to because you're just so close to pressing that button and unfortunately i can't press it for you you are the only one that can do that and the button is just right there it says subscribe if you do press it you're not going to miss any of my future videos which if you liked this one guess what future videos are going to be a lot like this one if you did like this one you should go check out my latest video and all my previous videos because guess what again they're a lot like this one but you don't have to do anything you don't want to do i only want you to subscribe if you really like this content and you want to subscribe i only want you to comment if you like this content and you really do want to comment and you want to see this type of video again all i can make sure that you do is have a great rest of your day and i will see you later and in the next video